the eastern gate and from there from there we go to restrooms hang on very important and we want to talk about it and this opinion says that this is where it used to be the Holy of Holies okay it's not in the center of the complex it's on the side but one of the things that support this theory is the location of the eastern gate actually if you don't mind uh, Let's stand over here for a moment. Imagine this square, or imagine this square over here to be the square of the Temple Mount, okay? Uh, this is the location of the Dome of the Rock. The Jewish oral tradition tells us that the Eastern Gate was just 90 degrees from the Holies of Holies. So it was a gate here, a gate here, a gate here, Mount of Olives, and right here they burnt the red heifer. And it was a, it was a direct line. You could see from the red heifer place on Mount of Olives, you could see into the temple. It was a direct line. So that's what used to be the Eastern Gate. Now, if you look here, look between those two groups of trees, between the two, you can see the back side of the Eastern Gate. Now, this Eastern Gate is not from Jesus' time. It is from the Byzantine time. 7th century AD. You see my point? We have two options. Either the gate from Jesus' time was not found yet, and it should be right over there in front of the Dome of the Rock and that's where used to be the Holy of Holies or under this gate you will find the gate from Jesus time according to what the archaeologists of Jerusalem today is saying and I'm following my, one of my teachers uh, chief archaeologist of Jerusalem Professor Bahat he said that there is an older gate under this gate, yet it's not from Jesus' time. And he believed Jesus' time gate should be found right in front. But let's say 95% believe this theory is correct, 5% believe this theory is correct, and there is at least 18 different theories that I counted about the exact location of the Holies of Holies, it mainly goes according to what you have on the ground. You can think about this area as a big treasure box. There is many chambers, cisterns, empty chambers. Who knows what we're going to find here in the future. Iran had an important discussion that I didn't capture on video because I was part of that discussion and I was busy filming. Uh, but the basic point was if the eastern gate is on the north side of uh, the eastern wall, then it would line up perfectly where the Dome of the Spirits is and the temple could be rebuilt there with the real estate that's available without destroying the Dome of the Rock. Uh, the Dome of the Rock would fall into the court of the Gentiles and that the in an end time scenario, you could actually have that whole site as a holy area uh, which would feed the scheme of an Antichrist coming in to have uh, the Islamic 
the structures left in place and still have the temple be rebuilt. Also, um, I have a, an illustration just showing without any temple structures what was un, under the ground in the Temple Mount. The Temple Mount had been greatly expanded with the second temple, but the first temple uh, is, is from the illustration time. There's a lot of the things that Iran mentioned in this illustration. I just hope it shows up well in a video. Uh, we then proceeded to the Eastern Gate and uh, with my last group, we actually paced off the dimensions of the temple, uh, just basing the idea that if it was rebuilt with the original dimensions, we could have it on the north side of the Temple Mount without destroying the Temple Mount. Most people feel that the Dome of the Rock is the actual location, or maybe just slightly south, and of course but that becomes very pro problematic to the Islamic community.